Good morning, Smart City World. Today is our second day on the Smart City Expo in Barcelona. We will try to find those trends and key technologies which are going to drive cities. Here in Barcelona, you can meet a lot of different brands big players of the technology world, as well as leaders who look after smart, modern cities. I see this year at least three big trends. First of all, AI and connected with AI applications like, for instance, digital twins. Second, drones. Drones can really do a lot, especially among big and very populated and crowded cities. And third big wave, there are, of course, IoT connected with data applications because there is no delays, no problems. You can really monitor online all organization of the city. Aaron, what AI really brings to cities some tangible, real effects? Well, let's start by that. AI is a transformative, critical infrastructure. We need to start thinking about it not as a technology, but as an engine of growth and an engine of efficiency. What does AI bring to the table? It brings, number one, operational efficiency. Number two, optimization of services by enabling your current workforce to be assisted by AI, which means their productivity will go bigger and bigger. Third one, which is very important, is it brings more engagement of a citizen. It's inclusive because you can bring technology that can speak to the spectrum of people, from old people to young people, from highly educated to middle educated, but also it's an economic engine of growth. Because when you think about it and you engage your community, your startup community, your university talent, your workforce, and your local ecosystem, this is when things get excited, where the city is in a governance structure model, where it's ensuring that there is compliance with the EU law, with the Polish law, with your country, your jurisdiction law, then now you can orchestrate, it's like a band. The city will become the orchestrator and the band will play the music and your music is intelligent. You take the city data and you produce intelligence. The main challenges when it comes to AI are quite few and each city has their own interpretation of challenges, different. In some places, in my opinion, the biggest challenge is the fear factor. Uh, which is something we respect. That's why we work with cities on learning about the art of the possible, about trying the technology, about challenging the technology, working with our ecosystem, obviously, to end up like, deal with their fear. When you feel something, you have to confront them, right? That's number one. Number two is we see talent, skills. Uh, AI is complex, we're not saying no. And we're, NVIDIA is investing significant amount of energy and resources in democratizing it, in making it accessible, simpler, usable. That's why now you have natural language model becoming part of your way of interacting with uh, AI, like generative AI, LLM, VLM. Uh, now you can talk to this rather than just code. We need both, but we're trying to simplify it. So it's important to upskill the cities workers and officials so they can optimize and benefit from this value because it's a myth it's just like i talk to few of them they feel like yeah but ai is complex it is but there are ways of simplifying it unless they engage in that and bring and we have upskilling or talent uh, upskilling is part of our journey through our deep learning institute through our partner ecosystem engagement we can over and the third one some people tell me like is more about we have silos our cities are siloed. Data is everywhere, but they're in black boxes. It's okay. And what we're trying to say, we're not here to touch the existing silos. It's for you to decide when you want to integrate, but we want to sit on top, create a layer on top that pulls value because data is the raw material. It's the oil of the future. It's, it, so we want to pull this data and create value on top, which is for everyone. 
for individual department, but for the common good of the city. I want to share with us the features of your AI solution. So, every city prepares cities for the climate uh, change. So, what we do is we take climate assessments that normally take weeks and do them in minutes. We've trained groundbreaking proprietary AI models to, to be able to answer instantly on major climate risks like heat uh, stress or wind uh, discomfort or flooding and other topics. So with our solution, cities can integrate directly in their own platforms. We don't need them to go to our own platform and they can integrate simulations and deliver answers instantly to their users. We've already worked with cities like the city of Hamburg and others and we believe we can empower cities to prepare for what's coming, for the climate crisis, and get really low cost, instant feedback on climate um, assessments. Two, the most important, the lovely cases you have on the stage of Dahua. Yes, of course, at Dahua we have two innovations this year. One is a digital twin that we can present, that is a synergy of five systems in a one solution. One is energy, transportation, uh, water, meteorology, security in one system. We represent digitally a whole city in one system. And we can make forecasts and prediction of a system and the working of a, of a city. So we can add maybe the environment, we can change, we can add a rain or a fog or whatever, and we can see how the city will change the, the flow according to this environment. This is one of the innovations that we can present. Is this commercial one already implemented and deployed? Yeah, it's implemented in several cities, in China, Middle East, it's implemented in Europe also, and in America we are, we are seeing now in Rio de Janeiro. Thanks, and let's go to another case. And the second case is the integration of DeepSeek with our BMS. We can create a prompt, so we don't need to make uh, analytics. We, we can create a new prompt, uh, maybe a man with a bag, a woman uh, speaking in a phone or whatever, and we can search inside a BMS, inside the whole system, a man with a bag, when we found the, the perfect uh, system that we are looking for, directly in the system, we can search the trajectory of this person or whatever in the prompt. It means DeepSeek as an LLM and BMS, the system which collects all of data, streaming information from the city, yes? And we can prompt like ask, look for the guy with big nose, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that, according to the GDP, because we, we, we need to avoid the, to follow the rules and this is according to looking for uh, how, how they dress, maybe looking for a suit or looking for the, the, the color of the shirt or whatever. But this is to help the police to investigate a uh, uh, problem or whatever. This is a product that is using AI, artificial intelligence, to uh, apply to our Google Maps data to provide vital information to our to cities, data authorities, and public sector. As you can see on this demo, we are providing information about the slowdowns for the parts of the roads that the data authorities and cities are interested in. Thanks to that, they can analyze what is what are the normal patterns of the road network, so which is allowing to identify the hotspot, the traffic slowdown hotspots to make a very uh, concrete decision, data-driven decisions about what to improve on the road network. We're also providing a real-time information updated every two minutes that uh, allows our customers to uh, detect abnormalities that are happening on the road network. We're looking into, this is a very new product, we launched it in September, but we're looking into very extensive and very exciting roadmap moving forward as well. Our goal is to provide as many important and key information to the cities to make them uh, provide best uh, services to their constituents. Why this solution is good for cities? Hi, uh, so 
we are using a vision language model. So unlike the traditional computer vision models, now we can analyze a more complex uh, scenarios, like a car accident happening here. It will generate a scene description of what is happening. And this allows the uh, operators in the traffic management, uh, in the control center, to easily respond to the situation happening on the road. Uh, so they don't have to look at the long footage them, uh, by themselves. Instead, the AI will send an alert, and it will also uh, generate a description of what happened at which time. So this is making the city safer, smarter, and more efficient. We are using a vision language model, so it gets both the uh, image and the text input from the user. So those uh, informations are fed into the AI, and it will generate the appropriate description uh, based on the input. So that also means uh, our solution is a lot more versatile and uh, it has a greater flexibility because we can adapt to different uh, domains much more easily without having to retrain the AI model. 3D LiDAR and AI, how it works? Okay, so we manufacture 3D LiDAR. LiDAR detects the 3D world and creates a massive point cloud giving you an understanding of the 3D world. LiDAR generates a lot of points and the main value of those points is they're capturing objects inside the 3D frame. What we need is we need to be able to understand what objects are there. And for that, we use AI. We use a neural network running on uh, NVIDIA cores, which does the inference through machine learning. So basically what we do is we take the people, we understand the shapes, we uh, target that information, put it into our machine learning model, and that gives us a set of weights that goes into the neural network. That's how we do the object detection and tracking. How AI makes cities better? So actually what we are showing here today is uh, vision AI. So everything what you can see with your eye, you can also see with uh, the camera. And we have trained the AI engine to detect certain uh, objects or certain situations. So you can think in smart cities about uh, fire, you can think about vandalism that we can detect, you can uh, think about uh, waste disposal, uh, that are all kind of waste behind the containers. Uh, we can detect this kind of stuff. So this is all the smart city elements. We have also, for example, uh, ecology systems around the smart city. Uh, can be, for example, that we have uh, birds with uh, certain characteristic, uh, characteristic that we are counting the different bird species and that we are then drawing conclusions out of that. So some birds are leaving the city, other birds are coming. Uh, what can be the reason for that? So in the ancient day, uh, mine workers took canary with them into the mine. And if the canary was uh, dying, then they know, okay, we should not be here. So I call this more the modern variant, where you are checking, okay, this is the ecosystem. Uh, is, it, is the ecosystem healthy or is it not healthy? So this is also a, a, a very important part of smart cities, of course.